And welcome back, everyone. American Idol kicks off season number six next Tuesday night. But these days, Idol makes news even before the singing begins. First, Simon Cowell slamming Seattle's music talent. Now, Paula Abdul's colorful interview on Q13 Fox News this morning. It is the talk of the town. Anchors Carmen Ainsworth and Lily Jang talked with her live by satellite in New York. Here's what happened. Joining us now live from New York City with an exclusive season preview is American Idol judge Paula Abdul. Good morning, Paula. Good morning, everyone. How are you? We're okay. doing great. Thank you. Well, right yeah. off the bat, what do Idol fans have to look forward to this season, and what are you looking forward to seeing? Well, is that what it is? I was wondering, what is that? Somebody else must be talking to Paula. Are you there, Paula? <laughs> Paula, good morning. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> I'm going to ask that question one more time, okay? I'll tell you. Okay, what do Idol fans have to look forward to this season? What are you looking forward to? <laughs> oh, I don't know if she can hear us right now. I think we're having audio problems. Yeah, wow. I think we are. I think we are. I think we might be having some problems. We're going to try to get back with Paula. In the meantime, we're going to fix the audio problem mm -hmm. and uh, join her live from New York in just a moment. Yeah. Good morning, Paula Abdul, live from New York City. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. <laughs> she can hear us. So tell us, what are you looking forward to this season? <laughs> How about a lot of you coming in? <laughs> it's, a, it's a wild party where you are. That, yeah, that's what we hear. We hear that uh, Simon has actually said that this had some of the worst singers that he's ever heard. What did you think of the singers in Seattle? Well, I have to agree with Simon. <laughs> oh, no. Paula? <laughs> hey, you know what? It is what it is. And it, wa and it was brilliant. Okay, that's you are going, interesting. Here's you are going to love that. You're going to love, you're going to see what we're talking about. Okay, you know what? This show has turned into a flat-out star maker, seven or eight of last season's alums, pulling record deals. How do you think Idol has changed the face of pop music? Well, let's put you this way. When the show started, the record industry said, this show is going to ruin the music industry. And the record industry was already kind of upside down. But now we have... We are legitimate, and we're, we're, we're churning out mega, mega stars. And it's, it's a show that actually you see great things happen to these kids, and, and I love it. And I think that it's going to be around for a while. Yeah, and speaking of great things happening to people, um, an old buddy of yours, William Hung, he's coming on our show tomorrow morning. And You're kidding. Yeah, he is. He'll be here tomorrow, <laughs> and he seems like a really nice guy. When, when he, he auditioned he, for you, did you have any idea that he was going to become such a cult star? You know what? I thought that this kid is going to, if anything, prove that he has so much, and a, tremendous, a tremendous amount of heart, and he's got drive, and he's a smart kid, and boy, did we see how smart he actually really is. Okay, Paula, I have to go back to something you just said. I have to ask you. Simon Lithgow said the singers in Seattle were crazies, drinking too much coffee. Um, Simon Cowell said these were the worst miserable singers he's ever seen. Why do you think they're so bad here? That's not true. <laughs> you know what? They said, listen, any publicity is good publicity. You got to learn to eat it up and, and, and embrace it and say, Seattle had the best delusional people. <laughs> Oh, no, but no. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. That there are some excellent contestants that came out of Seattle as well. Okay, okay, that's good. That's that's fair. Thank yes. you very much. And All right. Now, we talked with Fox Network about what was up with Paula. They acknowledged that during the very beginning of that interview, there was an audio problem. Paula was actually hearing a Fox TV station in Memphis and didn't hear our questions from Seattle. But after that, the audio was fixed, and you saw how the rest of that interview went. Now, we weren't alone. Several other stations had interesting interviews with Paula. Here's one from Houston that you didn't see this morning. Houston has, in the past, gotten a really bad rap. <laughs> but I was there. I get it. Um, I think somewhat so. Houston is, uh, has redeemed themselves because Seattle was the all-time woo! Not anymore. Not anymore. Season six, uh-uh, new Paula. 
Yes, Simon's becoming nicer, and I'm becoming a little more rotten like him. Wow, ouch. Fox Network had no official comment on Paula's odd behavior during those interviews today.